Nigerian Aliko Dangoti is Africa's richest man. and His company opened its large factory in the south of Tanzania just a year ago. It produces 3 million tonnes of cement a year and hopes to double that by 2020. But it runs on expensive diesel generators. Last week, the company suspended its operations in Tanzania, blaming technical problems. Now it's asking for government support. It wants to use Tanzania's natural gas to power its plant, but it's reportedly asked for lower than market prices to keep spending down. We don't know whether Tanzania's government will agree to such generous terms, but it's promised to continue talks in January. The cement industry is crucial to Tanzania because of the rate of construction here, including some of the government's own infrastructure projects. Flour is important to, to people's uh, food uh, and cement is important for, for the building industry. So it's practically the, the, the main ingredient in, in uh, as you say, building and having affordable housing, which is the main necessity today in Tanzania, uh, cement is, is very important. This week, the Trade Minister reportedly revealed that three more cement companies are looking to open bases in Tanzania. He hasn't publicly named them but apparently said that there are different stages of negotiations. He may have been trying to remind Dangote Cement that it's not the only company in this market, but the size, scale and ambition of that company means it cannot be ignored. Lucy Taylor, CCTV, Tanzania.